So the article and the study went on to say that when we fast and we switch into this fat burning mode, the one thing that is not capable of burning fat from, it, from fasting is visceral fat. And they go on to even say that repeated bouts of fasting made this visceral fat even more resistant over time. Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, we're going to talk about two new studies that have come out in the last six months around intermittent fasting and weight loss. The first study was in the Journal of American Medicine, or uh, their main journal, and the second one was in Cell Journal. The second one said that intermittent fasting doesn't help you lose belly fat. In fact, the study even alludes to the fact that it could cause you to in increase your belly fat. I'm going to unpack these studies on this video. So if you're new to my channel, I just want to start off by saying thank you for being here. Please subscribe. I'm on a mission to teach a million people this year the power of fasting and definitely with weight loss. There are some really cool things we know about fasting and weight loss. And those of you that send these videos out to your friends, you share them on social media, I greatly appreciate you. Fasting is so flippin' cool and it can, t it can train your body to heal so many ailments that I just love that we are spreading this message to the world, so thank you. Okay, here we go. First study, and I, I just wanna point out for a second, when we look at science, there are several things we have to look at. First, we've got to look at what was it done on an animal? Was it done on a human? What was the, if it was done on a human, what's the age ranges of the humans that it was done on? Because gosh, especially with weight loss, if you're going to compare a 19 year old man to a 59 year old woman, you can't compare those two. And then the other part of it is you have to look at the journals that they're coming out in and maybe even have to look at who funded the study. I don't typically do that here, telling you who all the people are that are funding it. That takes a lot of time and research, but something to realize is that even though it's science, it's not always a, an absolute that we all need to follow. And in these two articles, I'm gonna show you some of the nuances. So the first one was October 2020, and it was put out by the Journal uh, of American Medicine. And this was the title. This is a really interesting one because I had to go through this study a couple of times. It said, this is the, what they claim, that a randomized control tri trial was done and that intermittent fasting has no significant weight loss benefit and a substantial negative effect on muscle mass. Okay, so I dove into that and I saw there was 141 patients. They didn't say the sex or the age, so couldn't find that and they all did 16 hour fasts. There were two groups. One group did 16 hour fasting and the other group was taken, all they did is take their snacks out and they were allowed to eat three meals a day. So this is what they were comparing the weight loss and muscle mass effects on. The challenge, well then, and out of those two groups, they came out and said, no, nah, intermittent fasting doesn't really help you lose weight. But they were just comparing intermittent fasting 16 hours to three meals a day. So that was what they were comparing. There were some really big gaps of, uh, of strategies that probably needed to be implemented in this study. The first is that the, when these two groups ate, they didn't give them any diet recommendations. They were not given any, you have to eat this exact amount. So you're dealing with one group that had three meals a day and could eat whatever they wanted in those meals. And the fasting group was 16 hours. And when they did eat, they could eat whatever they want. So just because fasting is amazing and it helps with so many things, it doesn't mean that it gives you free license to eat whatever you want, especially when it comes to weight loss. So this group, this three meals a day, they could have been eating at McDonald's those three meals, and this group could have been you know, doing the same. When they ate, they could have been eating fast food. So we didn't control the foods that they ate. That right there tells me the study, it wasn't really properly done. 
The second thing is that they didn't control their physical activity. So this group, they could have run a marathon that day and this group didn't. So we had some big variables that were not analyzed closely enough. They were just looking at intermittent fasting compared to three meals a day with no intermittent fasting. The second thing that was really fascinating about this study is that they said that there wasn't any significant difference. Now let's go into the verbiage here because the title of the, uh, uh, the claim of JAMA was that there was no significant weight loss benefit. Meaning if you did three meals a day or you fasted 16 hours, that there was real no difference between the two. Well, okay. When I dove in and I looked at it, actually the intermittent fasters lost a lot more weight than the other people. So that seems pretty, it, they didn't say intermittent fasting wasn't good for weight loss, they just said there was no significant difference. But when we get these headlines, what happens is now somebody reads that headline, they're struggling with fasting, and they're like, oh, see, I shouldn't have fasted. This, this is exactly why I don't fast. Or you have friends that are like watching your results with fasting, and they're like, oh, I saw an article in JAMA that said there's no weight loss difference. Okay, we didn't go into the nuance of the study, and we got, we got sidetracked by the headline and didn't dive deeper and look at why they're what they were actually measuring. So that's the first thing I want to say. And we're going to get back to the muscle mass here in a, in a second. The second study was Cell Journal, March 2021. So it just came out. And here is the title. I titled this YouTube this. Intermittent fasting didn't reduce belly fat. Now this one is done in mice. And here's something they found. And it's so fascinating to me. They found that repetitive fasting over and over and over again would cause you to become more resistant to burning visceral fat. Okay, so visceral fat is fat around your organs. They also feel like visceral fat is belly fat. So the article and the study went on to say that when we fast and we switch into this fat burning mode, the one thing that is not capable of burning fat from, it, from fasting is visceral fat. And they go on to even say that repeated bouts of fasting made this visceral fat even more resistant over time. So remember, when I talk about sugar burner, fat burner, I'm talking about making a switch so your body's burning energy from fat. And what we're also talking about, and that's fat everywhere, fat on your arms, fat on your hips, fat around your organs, your belly. This is what we're seeing dramatically shift. What this study is showing us, the positive of this study, is that when we fast the same way over and over and over again, that the visceral fat, the belly fat becomes resistant to this fat burning energy system. So, what do we know? What are we learning from these two studies? Okay, first, we're learning not to get caught into the headlines. So that's the first thing I wanna say. Second, we're learning that when you fast too much, that there's a possibility that there could be a negative effect. Okay, well, what's fasting too much? I mean, most of us love our fasting lifestyle, we're doing it a lot, but I, I wanna bring that fasting too much to a different discussion, which is you have to vary your fasts. So if you're doing one meal a day and you got great re re uh, results with weight loss and now all of a sudden you're gaining weight, especially around the belly, this study, the second study here, is telling you that you need to vary your fast. 24 hour fast one day, 13 hour fast the next day, no fast the third day. It needs to constantly change so that you don't fall into this challenge of the visceral fat becoming resistant to being burned for energy. So that's key is we've got to vary our fasts. The, the second thing that we're learning is that when they talk about the muscle loss, I want to point out, and you can talk to any faster on this, that many times when we're in a fast or we're doing a fast, the muscles will shrink because you're in autophagy and autophagy is made for detoxing and, and clearing out the junk out of your tissues. 
But if you stay in autophagy all the time and you don't work on some mTOR, which is how you actually build muscle, then yes, if I'm a fasting, 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 intermittent fasting, and I'm really just staying in this place of only doing autophagy and only breaking down, over time your muscle will break down too. But if you know that what is that the fast and what you break your fast with are a beautiful marriage in building a body that you want, you can start to go, okay, let me fast. And when I break my fast, let me stimulate mTOR with protein so I can build muscle. I teach this to my academy a lot that we talk about how if you want to have lean muscle, you work out in a fasted state and then you break, you, when you're done with your workout, you eat a protein rich meal. So you're in autophagy, you're working out to stimulate autophagy, and then you're replenishing mTOR. So we're back, both these studies are showing me that we're back at fasting variation, we're back at food is as important as fasting for weight loss, so is exercise, and we're back at don't fall prey to the sensational headlines. We've got to vary our fast. We have to vary our foods. And if we do that, we get the benefits of fasting and the benefits of eating combined together. It's the perfect scenario. If you want to know more about this, we're teaching this in my academy. Just put Reset Academy. We'll send you a link to come on in. And don't give up on fasting. If your belly fat's coming back, now you know what to do. As always, hope that helps. And you guys, put in the comments, please put, if you've had this experience and you've undone it because we're a community and I want to share your wins with the rest of the world.